Hi, Katrina Mitchell, CEO and Chief Matchmaker of Speak, and I'm here with Scott Greenberg. Scott, you talk a lot about two different kinds of motivation, and um, I, actually, it was so intriguing to me, I spent some time researching it, but I want you to deliver what you talk about. Yeah, uh, I think that a lot of employers don't realize there's actually two different categories of motivation. And when they struggle to motivate their employees, it's because they don't understand the difference. So the two categories are extrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is when someone needs some sort of outside stimulus to keep them excited. So that's going to be the promise of a higher salary, a bonus, a prize, recognition. It's something on the outside that sounds good, it feels good. And typically what attracts people to a job is some kind of extrinsic payoff. Again, the, the benefits, the status, the title, and of course the salary. But the problem with extrinsic motivation is it doesn't last. The people start to burn out and they get dissatisfied. And they get to that point where, gosh, there's not enough money in the world to make me want to keep doing it. Well, it turns out there's actually a second kind of motivation, which is intrinsic motivation. And the beautiful thing about that is it's something that comes from within. I don't need a salary to walk my dog. I just love to walk my dog. There's a connection that's there that just feels good on mm -hmm. the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big video gamer, but at night I like to play solitaire on my phone. I'm not winning anything, but there's a certain intrinsic satisfaction that comes from that experience. What I find is when you can find employees who are intrinsically motivated by the kind of work that they're going to be doing, they don't necessarily always need the praise or the salary or the bonus. Something about the work itself just feels great. So part of what we want to do when recruiting employees is to make sure that they have some kind of connection to the work itself. There's something about what they're doing, it feeds their soul. And if they do that, they're much like, more likely to stay excited about the mission of your business, and they're more likely to hang in there. Yeah, thank you. It's just such a great message. And I know that a lot of these nuggets that you have developed and share from the stage to franchise audiences are from your real life experience as an award winning franchisee yourself with Edible Arrangements. So your opportunity or your experience of, of helping your millennial staff and your teams thrive in those roles, finding what, what, what juices them, what do they love? So you're not talking about something you don't know firsthand. No. I had a great experience with my business, and we were very fortunate that our, our, our franchise happened to win, you know, best customer service out of 1,000 people. I give my staff complete credit for that. They were all millennials. So they can be motivated. You just have to know what motivates them intrinsically. You do that, and they'll be loyal, they'll work hard, and you'll get great results from your team. Nice. Thank you.